Hey everybody, Matt from Customs by Natu here, and welcome to another episode of Custom Figure Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at this Marvel vs. Capcom staple, Jin Satone. Ready! Fight! Jin was made for my buddy D for one of my many custom figure swaps. When he gave me his list of options, Jin immediately jumped out at me. The challenge of a smooth white paint app is a satisfying one to accomplish. Plus I wanted to experiment with some heavier blue shading using my airbrush. But perhaps the most difficult part of this project was finding the right mix of parts to capture his unique frame and to provide a good starting point for me to build from. I used a real mixer of parts to bring Jin to life. I started with Spider-Punk's torso and plugged in some shoulders from Ghost Rider, some arms from Tactical Killmonger and a few random hands from my fodder bin. The head is from Shang-Chi and the hair was taken from a knockoff Neka Ryu figure and modified to fit. The scarf and belt were made using pieces from Shatterstar, and the feet are from Marvel Now Wolverine. The legs are heavily modified and extended Old Man Logan legs to give him some additional height and help achieve the proportions I was looking for. Once I had all the parts I needed to build, I got to work assembling the figure. I started by extending the Old Man Logan legs so they were more proportionate with the rest of the body. To do this, I cut the leg into pieces, being careful to avoid trimming the pegs of the upper thigh and ankle and the knee joint. I then drilled some holes and glued some short strips of wire into the pieces of the leg to bridge them together and give it some stability. Using epoxy sculpt, I then filled in the gaps between the leg pieces and blended them into the existing sculpt. It only added about half an inch onto the legs, but it did make a pretty big difference. There was a lot of sculpting to be done on this figure, and the majority of it was done using Ave's epoxy sculpt. After extending the legs, I got to work on the upper body. I had to sculpt over the musculature on the torso and replace it with clothing folds. I then decided to re-sculpt the pecs to give them a bit more definition. I glued a collar from a standard Marvel Legends trench coat onto the chest so I didn't have to sculpt it. I blended the edges of the collar into the rest of the sculpt on the torso. I also added pads to the elbows, knees, and feet. Most of the fine details on the body, like straps, buckles, and buttons, were all sculpted using green stuff. Before I started painting, I had a few finishing touches I needed to add to the figure. I drilled some holes for the shoulder spikes and glued them in place, fit the oversized hairpiece from the Neka Ryu onto the Shang-Chi head, and made a pair of soft good wired scarf tails that attached to the neck scarf. Jin was ready for paint. While Jin's build was a challenge, I'm grateful that this figure had a very simple paint job. I started by priming the entire figure gray using Badger Primer. I then laid down multiple thin layers of Createx Detail White with my airbrush. By keeping the layers light, you get a nice smooth paint application. I then went over the details of the sculpt with a silver wash before adding some sky blue shading onto the body. I don't generally do this style of heavy shading on my figures, but in this circumstance it felt appropriate. The skin tone was also done using an airbrush. I finished up with the fine detailing on the buttons, zippers, knees and elbow pads, facial details, belt and leg strap, and characters on the back of the torso and headband with a fine tip brush. Overall, I'm really happy with how Jin came together. I think I got his proportions pretty spot on. My only regret is that I did not do an alternate head with a bit more of an anime feel to it. I would have also probably gone a different direction with the scarf tails, but that's minor in the grand scheme of things. This guy is one of the few figures that I finished and was actually happy with. That doesn't happen too often, so I'm calling it a win. I'm hopeful my buddy D is feeling the same way and is happy to have him represented on his shelf. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. It really, really helps. If you have any questions about this Jin Satone custom or how it was made, you can leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be made aware anytime I post new videos or go live. And stick around because up next, we're going to be checking out a certain man without fear. Very intriguing. Stick around.